Good morning. We're so glad you're here. If you have the vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It is 7.20 in the morning. Um, I want to show you this cool morning setup. Pretty simple, but I actually got coffee going before hopping in the shower. I'm gonna have James's bottle set before he wakes up because he's still sleeping. And Sarah, as we said in the vlog a couple days ago, we're gonna start making smoothies. This is a little bit of leftover smoothie from this big batch Sarah made yesterday. So I'm gonna have that as a little quick breakfast starter and a cup of joe, and I'm gonna get my work day started. Look at this Sweetie Pie outfit today. So cute, his little shorts even have pockets. So something that we are going to try out is having smoothies in our house. We've been like relying on like quick snacks, quick breakfast, all that sort of stuff for quite some time. And we wanted to like figure out an easy way for us to like get good nutrition and and I can make it in the morning and I can have it with the kids for like breakfast and then Peter can have it for lunch. Um, so we are going to start our day doing that. I do have some helpers with me. Alrighty, I got one friend over here playing with magnets. Another over here sitting in his little bouncer seat. We're gonna start out grinding up some chia seeds. They're a great, um, a great resource for fiber, you can see on the packaging. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be one of the big things that we put in the smoothies as well as spinach. Okay, got my helper on the chair. We're gonna get like a nice little stand like Christina's for him to help me in here. So we have the chia seeds in the coffee grinder. You didn't like that? That's a little bit much. We're gonna grind them on up. And then I'm gonna store them. A little scary. Um, and then I'm gonna store them separately and just put like a few tablespoons in each like big smoothie batch. That's your response. So these are going to be our ingredients today. We're gonna to do all berries with coconut milk, a banana, spinach, and then the chia seeds. I had asked on our Instagram stories if anyone had suggestions for really great smoothie recipes and I realized I never shared them to my story. So I'll do that today. So they might, I'll, I'll save them as like a highlight on our Instagram page if you're interested in checking those out. Um, super helpful got me lots of good ideas. I actually, I, I got a lot of Greek yogurt too, because a lot of you suggested that. Um, so maybe I'll throw some of that in there too. All right, there it all is. I don't really know like what servings, like amounts and stuff yet. We're still new to this, so it's all ready to go. Can you press the button? Press it. <laughs> press it. Watch. <laughs> you didn't like that? You don't like that? Not a fan? Jamesy is a fan. Mm. Alright, bittersweet day. I've been battling my IT department literally since of what? Like I worked for like two hours. Um, I'm having connection issues with my mail and my calendar. So they had to cancel some meetings, move some meetings around. But I think they fixed it, but more excitingly, um, our pediatrician's office got their order of vaccines, or Pfizer vaccines this week, Moderna next week. So we for booked COVID. for COVID vaccines. So we scheduled James, uh, I'll take him and get his vaccine tomorrow morning. Um, so that's exciting. And then we'll just have to wait five more months for, for Teddy to be able to, which is probably now, I'm excited that James will have the vaccine, but it's more nerve-wracking to not have Teddy be vaccinated because James has already had it, but 
the antibodies but only still, last for four months. Gets it again, then I'm paranoid that, that he's going to give it to Teddy, and this will be better because so. he's now. Yeah. So exciting day. Vaccine tomorrow for James. <laughs> Do you want more berries? <laughs> You're oh all man. Out. We need more berries. <laughs> Jamesy's reactions to Festival of Fantasy are so cute, but my plan totally backfired because I wanted to just put this on as like background music while we run around because I need a way for him to be, get tired. Um, but it's so, so hot today. So I didn't want to bring both of them outside, so I was like, I'll put on the parade, I'll do some laps, but now he just wants to watch it. So once it's done, we're gonna do that. So again today, it'll work out where Peter doesn't have any meetings during James' nap time, so he'll be able to hang out with Teddy while I put him down. I have sort of like laid out, I'm a visual person so I wrote it down, um, like what I want our routine to look like. And I will share that like once we are more in the groove of things like I said, but while I'm kind of like working on that, I would like to ask for any tips and tricks you guys have had. Um, anyone who's a caregiver that if you have anything that like you really like to put in your in your daily routine that's kind of like worked for you so if you have any suggestions please leave them below well aren't you too sweet thanks for hanging out during nap time and I prepped dinner Jamesy woke up but he went back down so Well, it's not every day in Chicago living that you go, you know what, dinner's going to take like 40 minutes, so I'm going to go on a run, and Sarah's like, you know, it's like 98 degrees, and with heat index, it's 105. Sarah said it's the hottest day in Chicago in like 10 years. So, not going on a run right now, maybe later, when the kids are in sleep, but not right now. Too hot. My hair's a little crazy. But I'm going to do our cook with me a little different today. I had prepped some of the ingredients so as I show the finished product I'll show me making it except for I am making the sauce for the noodles right now so I will show you that in real time so I'm going to turn this down got boiling quick so this is it's not really the Ohana um, recipe because I don't have all the ingredients and I'm not doing like the scallions or anything like that so this is just soy sauce brown sugar a little bit of olive oil um, ginger and garlic and like you saw I got it all bubbly and now I'm just gonna let it cook and thicken up a little bit I think I think I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar to get a little bit more like caramely so now I'm going to put the quick pickled onions I made <laughs> On the salad, I am gonna keep a lot just like in the fridge. Like I'm not gonna put this whole thing in the salad. And then I'm gonna add this copycat salad dressing to the salad. This is straight from Ohana. So I will link the description below where I got it. Um, it's so, so yummy. I'm happy. I'm happy that it made more than just I needed for the salad. Usually I just like use the ingredients the recipe says and just put it on the one salad, but I'm going to have leftovers to use again. I mix the noodles in with the soy sauce concoction. I'm just gonna let it soak a little bit so it can really soak up all those flavors and like the liquid actually in general, like these noodles aren't really meant to have like a sauce on top. It's like the noodles just taste yummy for everything they're sitting in. And then our main dish is this concoction of Polynesian veggies. In the past, I would make it with chicken. You could really make it with any sort of meat that you want. Tofu would be even really good.
but this had baked for probably like 40 minutes on 450 degrees. So it's very hot. The juices are yummy. We're gonna put that, like this is gonna go with the pasta and then we'll have our salad on the side. To say James love this mm -hmm. is the biggest understatement of the year. He ain't every last bit. <laughs> so underrated. Real life mess. Real life joy. I've got everything that I need. He's gone. <laughs> but for real, if you've never seen the Jason Siegel Muppets, you must. The event is about to begin, Harmonious, live on Disney Plus. A mind-blowing nighttime spectacular that celebrates the magic of Disney music and the power it has to it bring the world together. Minutes. For the first this time in, in the orchestra. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and for one night only, over 90 <laughs> This is the face of someone who's like, uh, we should be there right now. Oh! Whoa! Look how cool that is! Look how cool that is! And don't forget Teddy, he's here too! How cool is that? I wish we were there this moment. Look at the lanterns are lit, Sarah! Teddy's never even been there. Teddy's never been there. Tonight. Let's gather together as one in celebration. Lift your eyes to the skies and witness the wonder Woo! as we unite in harmony. Can you imagine hearing that live? <laughs> This is what we listen to during bath time. I had no clue that it was a live performance. I thought they were just showing harmonious. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, people can watch on Disney Plus. <laughs> we're not okay. We're not okay. We gotta go down as how the worst thing we missed. <laughs> how we could have missed that. Well, I'm not living there. You guys know how much we adore Illuminations. Harmonious is it's really good. It's really incredible. We probably listen to that the most. Like we listen to that like basically every bath time, almost every car ride. Yeah. And um, that was beautiful. <laughs> Teddy just get out of me. And we're not okay. I need a mental. I'm hoping the second we hit like a menu and get out of this, that it's there to watch Forever. Yeah, I think it will be. Good morning, good morning, we're so glad you're here. We did a vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I don't believe we signed off last night. This is going to be a two-part vlog. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys how James has been bringing me over here often and wanting to color. He's been... Awesome and so much fun learning to like use markers. <laughs> Do you like the duck I drew? Ooh, it's such a fun new stage. So I am gonna tackle some laundry. Peter and James just left because James is getting his COVID vaccination, which is like so exciting, but I also know that he's not gonna be happy about it. And of course, there could be potential side effects, so I'm kind of like preparing myself for that. Um, but it's so worth it and we're so, so grateful. He'll be getting the Pfizer vaccination. Um, and yeah, so that is happening. They're probably gonna pick up a little McDonald's treat on the way home. Um, but Teddy is snoozing. He had a rough go from like 4.30 to 7.30, just like not getting like truly settled. And so he's basically just been asleep since like eight-ish and it's 9.30 now. Which is great, but um, it's weird. I like, no one's here. Well, I shouldn't say nobody because my girl Evie is here. She's, she's sad that the boys left. But yeah, I'm gonna tackle this laundry.
All right, Jamesy got his shot. Super quick. <laughs> yeah. So nice. All right, so the wait 15 minutes, make sure there's not immediate reaction. And then we're out of here. Oh my gosh. Come into the dining room and find such a defeated puppy. You okay? Your hair is matted on one side of where you were laying. It's a bit warm today, huh? Are you defending Teddy, who's in there? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go to the dishes. You can go back to sleeping or laying or plotting my demise. So we're almost eight hours post-vaccine with Jamesy and he's been doing great. He really isn't showing any signs of discomfort, so that is great. Wow. Teddy got a bath while Jamesy napped. He's still very like flaky, but his his um baby acne's kind of been clearing up. I've been putting breast milk on it. Um what is sticking his tongue out? But I the reason I started this clip was because <laughs> Oh goodness, oh goodness. Teddy is one month old today. Officially, it's the 22nd, so that is a big deal. We have got Zootopia on. Peter is working on some dishes. We're really trying to like, really keep on track with dishes and laundry. It's one of those things, I saw this meme that was like, I didn't do the dishes for two days and now my whole life is questionable. Um, we feel that, so we're sticking to we're gonna try, you know, we're always just trying our best um, to stick to that, and we're gonna have leftovers for dinner. We've kind of been having a low-key day. Jamesy took a tumble that shook me, it shook him, um, but he's all right. Evie got into some food yesterday, so like, we just kind of been like, going through it. Um, but Peter's done with work, we're halfway through the week, we're refocusing, like I said, giving ourselves grace, taking deep breaths. So excited just to have like a nice chill night at home. Maybe we'll go for a stroll. Just jamming out to Dave Matthews Ben, getting ready for that concert. So tonight we're having a little bit of leftovers. We're also having a little bit of fresh. We got some pot stickers we're gonna pan roast. I'm gonna get a, a fruit salad going here. Yes, these blueberries are already in the bowl because I spilled the entire container and Eve went to town. So I threw those in the bowl and then threw the rest back in the container. We're gonna chop, we're gonna heat, we're gonna pan fry. And that was the person to be sitting under. Are you ready for dinner? His mouth is watering. Ooh la la. James absolutely loved this dinner last night. Hopefully it's as much of a hit tonight. Plus, Pot stickers are some of his favorite food. Daddy kinda, I don't know what happened to these here pot stickers. Did you show the pot stickers? I did show the pot stickers. <laughs> but he, I'm them for you. He loves pot stickers, so. The Ohana copycat continues. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> got some birdies, got some sticks. James is excited for something. He loves trucks. We are. Off to get ice cream. Yeah, it just feels like when you get a shot, yeah. you should get ice cream. And, and I, I also said he took a tumble today. He did take a tumble. So when you get tumble and vaccine, you get ice cream. ice cream. What the heck is going on at Wrigley Field? Look at this. It's a structure. Wow. I think they're allowed to do that. I, want, I bet you there's rules that they have to. It's probably like not technically attached. Yeah. It's probably like up on it. Look at this golden hourness. Sandlot. Sandlot. Okay movie. Not a great movie, but okay. Peter's a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Peter's Everybody from Sandlot. the Midwest thinks it's the greatest movie ever made. Ever, ever, ever. And I just think it's a really good movie. And ever since I said that, spoke that once, I've been ostracized by the entire village of Evergreen Park. Just the Ryan family. And everybody else in Evergreen Park. Everybody that's ever heard that, it's like, you're the dumbest person in the whole world. It's not like you go shouting at Rooftops. No. Wow, look at those fancy chairs. Gallagher Way started movies. Josie and the Pussycats is on tonight. Fantastic. Here's our destination. Teddy's first. Jenny. We missed the rush. We did. Let's go! 
love the people. What do you think? You love it? <laughs> what you got on you? Oh no. <laughs> we are home. We're gonna get ready to do bath times. I put the stroller away and this was in the back of the car and it's a it's a fist city beer from a Chicago brewery. But look at that, there's that Y symbol again. Part of the city series, classic styles for any session. Excuse me. It is after midnight. I have a sleeping baby next to me. Peter is still in with P Peter is still in with James. He's having a really hard time falling asleep, and he did go to bed a little later. Um, but he also can't tell us if he's feeling any sort of discomfort from the vaccine. We've also mentioned that he's like canines are dropping, so we just give him a little bit of Motrin, and hopefully that'll that'll do the trick. Um, so yeah, kind of an unexpected wrap up of the night. I'm just gonna sign off here so that once Peter is out, we can go straight to bed. I'm finishing up editing this vlog now. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. Thank you.